Okay, so I'm just wrapping up. That's super loud though. guys and then being stunned out before I kill them. Hey you two can see the call ever so briefly. Hey okay, must have getting those big stuff. Nicole, you're Nicole, not Lori. I can't remember if Dark Flame is the old anymore. Pretty sure it's Nicole. Apologize in advance for offending you. I'm guessing wrong. Lori. Okay. I think I called you Nicole last time. So apologies for that, Lori. I won't forget again. Okay. 
guys on the way out yet? Equal still on its way. Air base. The last mission I had here was really cool. Okay. And soon to bed. Parasite suit. Mission complete. Whew. At least you made it out in one piece. Oh no. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go so good. I guess it could have gone just fine. I mean, if I had known from the beginning, just run over to that gun and shoot the shit out of them without letting it go to without letting the gun get too hot, that would have gone pretty easy. Regardless, that's it. That's all I was planning on wrapping up, so we'll see if there's cutscenes and stuff, and then we'll call it. Code talker. Skullface is no longer in Africa. The nuclear test was a success. Now they turned the knives on me. Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago in the southern Indian Ocean. The final test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection. By exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium. In the form of metallic archaea. Once on sight, metallic archaea enrich the uranium. And when uh, placed, the master of loaded puppets. onto all terrain metallic by beetle machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. That's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. Criticality. Fail safe only he controls. Any such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses. Regardless of who owns it or their intent to use it. Nukes. Controlled yes. by a man. Uh -huh. Not a country. Nukes make me tired. They proliferate. Conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. have come up with a proposal for a new suit that applies Code Talker's research, the Parasite Suit. Apparently, it can recreate some of the Skull's unusual abilities. But in order to use those abilities, it needs Parasites. If you want to wear this suit, you're gonna need to get a hold of Parasites by extracting Skulls. Uh -huh. Kikongo. What a 
apparently I need to do side missions to unlock that, so I probably will. I need a shower. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. Burn anyone that speaks Kikongo. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. Oh, or this. A type of Volbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. The parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Turning male to female. And preventing copulation. We must cultivate more. Thanks to Code Talker, we've managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic, but everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Skullface will pay for this. Yeah. How dare he? Torturing Huey again? Let's not. Again with the truth serum? What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. Archaea. Sohilanthropus. Where is he? What? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sohilanthropus is the final piece. What are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon. East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life, as countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what Skullface is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight, and on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse, a cleansing parasites, or what matter knows. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be used. Skullface is the world's greatest threat, and zeroes. The pieces are in place. 
All that remains is to unveil Sir Holanthropus in Afghanistan. They can't activate it without me. KB-0, the Salanthropus is beyond the Soviet base camp, in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. Oh, snap. That's what you're looking for. But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. word from Afghanistan. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Parasites. Skullface's men then headed north. The target is OKB-0. That's where he'll activate Sahalanthropus. Unless we stop him, he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. I'm gonna need backup on this one. You'll rendezvous on site. Chapter One. Boss about Eli. No matter how many times we talk to him, he just won't listen. He sees everything in terms of victory or defeat and still won't accept that you beat him. We're gonna have to put him in his place. Again. If you don't mind, come back to Mother Base and go another round with him.
skull face. So that's probably the end of chapter one. So if I go and do that, I'll do some side missions for a bit. But I will. Uh, that's what I'll do next time I play. Alright, good night everybody.